Hey guys, we are at home, sitting in the schoolroom. See all our fun school supplies. Um, Lady's in the window because she is looking for Daddy. Edward. Where's Daddy? Is he coming home? Not yet. But anyways, um, we have finally figured out. Look at all this. How much we've spent for the Camino and for the Spain trip. So we're gonna go over the numbers with you. It's a lot more than we were expecting. <laughs> All right, so before we left, we had printed off this um, elevation map of the whole Camino all the way to Santiago. And as you can see, if I slide the mountain over, slide, uh, slide the mountains here. You can see we had a few um, ups, downs, and then the third up and down, and then we made our way to Santiago. I don't have one that went all the way to Finisterra, but that's okay. Anyways, what I've done after the fact is written down where we stayed, like kind of circled the city, and then how much it cost at what um, albergue. Because I just kind of wanted to see that for it myself. It was a lot more than what the guidebook gave us at the, right. the starting point. Right. So, this is... Um, the book they gave us, let me go to the beginning. It's a mess. It's a mess. Okay. Well, this is what they give you oh my, okay. at, um, in St. Jean. There we go. And it has, this is what it looks like. Refugees and albergues on the Camino Francis. Whoa, lady. You okay? <laughs> no, you come. Come back up. Oh, hey. Let's I can't believe she fell off of there. Oh my gosh. You good? <laughs> you good, puppy? You okay? Okay. We're good. Okay? All right. So this is what they give you. Okay? And um, I carried this around the entire time, as you can see. And um, it lists almost all of the albergues along the Camino path. There were some that were new and weren't on here yet. These are the ones they say they recommend. Um, and they have um, different information. They have the phone numbers and how much it costs to stay there. If they have like a private room or if it's, um, donation based, it was cool. But, um, most of the time I would circle where we stayed and then I would have to adjust the numbers because they were wrong a lot, a lot. A lot. Um, you can see that. So, um, Brooklyn sliding one paper, another one paper fell. So when we started, sorry guys, this is a lovely video. When we started planning for the Camino, I had taken somebody else's kind of general idea, written it down on the paper of where we thought we would stay um, each night. Now, that being said, um, all of these stops are kind of the major um, cities along the Camino where, uh, the guidebook says to stay yeah. on stage. And we discovered very quickly when we wanted to be off the stage. So, um, we knew this was just a general plan. So kind of crossed out, crossed out where we didn't stay and we, where we did, and then wrote in where we did. And it went through multiple <laughs> plans because usually I would plan for like, two or three days in advance, make a few reservations if I could, um, and go from there. And then as you can see, it went all the way to Santiago and we arrived there on schedule. We actually arrived there a day earlier. Um, and then we had a few days, so we had extra days to get to Finisterra, which we took an extra day instead of the normal three, three and a half, four days. We took Five. Um, and then we came back to Santiago, then we had our Valencia trip, and then our Barcelona trip, and then our Woo -woo. cruise. I know, crazy. So, um, what I did every day is I wrote down exactly where we stayed, how many miles it took, how long it took us to get there. How was the day? And then kind of roughly what was going on during the day. And then on the back side, I would write down, obsessively write down what we spent our money on, how much was the hostel, uh, any food, any fun things. So mm -hmm. then I took all of that and I wrote it down 
um, each day on a piece of paper. Then I labeled them, color labeled them, and figured that out. So then, that was all the this days. One? Yep, okay. then this one, I wrote down all the cost. So this is how much we spent on food. These prices are in euros. Um, so for food, we spent $1,685.99 on food. Um, and then we have our hostel stays. And then we had our private room slash hotel costs. This is actually six nights. And so we spent $437 for six nights versus the rest of it, which was 40 well, it was a total of 45 nights, so 39 yeah. nights, we spent 1,011. Oh so we spent almost, or half of that cost in private rooms for just a few nights. So it it makes sense to stay. Now, granted, this is for two people. Yeah. So, okay, we spent $104 on laundry, $127 on shipping our bag ahead. Now, um, the last four... Because it was raining and we were walking into Santiago. Out of Santiago. Out of to, Santiago to Finisterra. Sorry. Right. So okay. if you took away that cost, you could see how much it would be. Um, transportation cost. This only includes the time that we started in France and ended in Spain. So the shuttle bus that took us up and down the mountain. Two and, times. Yeah. And Saint, from St. John to... Uh, uh, the, at the Pyrenees. Cross. Yeah, yeah, the Pyrenees. Mm -hmm. At the cross, and then back down, then there again. Right, so the first two are the shuttle cost, and then the rest are either taxi rides, trains, a buses. train ride, and a bus. A few buses there. Um, these costs you probably wouldn't have if you weren't us. <laughs> so, um, we went to different museums. One was free. A certificate for the halfway and the post office cost to ship it ahead and yeah. to pick the certificates up, the halfway point, because yeah. we shipped ahead. And then we have our gear supplies and replacement cost um, that we spent. Uh, personal items. This included uh, medicine, uh, pharmacy costs like ibuprofen. For me. For you. Um, massage chairs, deodorant, and soap. Yes. Um, cause otherwise everything else was pretty much food. And then we had our fun stuff. We bought some comic books, some <laughs> patches, books right? Earrings and books, books at the end. Um, that 2380 were two books, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and that was really for the cruise, but yeah, but then yeah, this is it. Okay. All together. Right. So total we spent. 3,890 euros and 75 cents or 75 euros um and then the cost in american u.s dollars at the time was four thousand one hundred and sixty two dollars and 49 cents throughout the whole thing yeah for 45 days and that's for the two people two of us that's there were a few times bad. like the private room um had two beds in it so it didn't matter if there was one or two of us there and then, so we made a pie chart, and you can see food was our biggest expense, 43%. That was totally not just me. Yeah. <laughs> and then, technically, like I'd split it up, the hostels and the hotel private rooms. And you can see, six nights, and this is 39 nights, so keep that in perspective. Um, was 37.2% total cost. And then we have laundry, you see the tiny baby sliver, <laughs> and then bag transport. Once again, if you want to carry your bag the entire way and not have that nice little luxury, do it. Do it. You don't have to send your bag ahead. <laughs> like we figured out. Transportation costs. A lot of this was kind of unexpected, but um, needed at the time. Yeah. Gear supplies, um, and then like the brown per little personal. Sliver. Yeah, and then the green little sliver is 0.9% for personal stuff, like medicine stuff. So there is our um, breakdown of our cost. And then I can show you the breakdown of the cost of our entire trip. I don't want to look at that one. Yeah, okay. I'll get it out now. She's okay. All right, so now we have the total cost Keep of um, everything else that we spent. The flights going... 
um, from Charleston to uh, Belval, and then the shuttle there all the way to France. Um, and then these are cost of like Valencia and Barcelona and um, other costs that we had. The cruise cost, which was that much. Um, and then our travel insurance. Rick um, was able to come meet us in Barcelona and then fly home with us um, from Barcelona. So, or fly, or go on the cruise with us. So we had these extra expenses that uh, we weren't expecting to spend. But anyways, here's our total cost. Um, oh yeah, and our bank exchange rate uh, mm -hmm. We had these actual foreign fees of $148.31. Which isn't bad it's, for how many times we took out. Right, for the ATM costs. For the ATMs, mm -hmm. but, like, that's yeah. still a lot for that. All right, so non-Camino cost <laughs> is $10,605.89. <laughs> and our Camino cost, which you already know, was $4,162.49. Bringing our grand total with the foreign fees... $14,916.69. You know... We're going to be living off of ramen. Right? Yes. So, um, time to go back to work. <laughs> I don't know I'm pointing the camera at you because uh, I need to go back to work. Yeah. Yeah. I can't work. You can't work? They won't allow me. I can't no. get paid yet. You're still too young. Though, at Costco the other day, they thought you were an employee. <laughs> I was... I Do you have your toy, I wasn't lady? even in the red vest. Do you have thing. your toy? I know. So, we um, have decorated for Christmas over there. It's beautiful. All right. We're going to let you go and uh, <laughs> play hide and seek with the dog's toys. Yep. Yep. <laughs> lady... Lady. Oh, go get it. She's fast, guys. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.